If you look at today's collaboration technologies, which are primarily things like web conferencing or telepresence, what you notice is that they're really good for business interactions where the content has been created ahead of time. And the challenge is that we don't really have good technologies to allow distributed teams of engineers to create content, to co-create. And so what we've been doing is we've been taking the telepresence codec, which is the engine that allows us to ingest video and put it onto the network, and seeing whether we could use it in a different form factor with different endpoints to allow distributed teams of engineers to interact with each other in real time as they develop their ideas and come up with new things. So we have a little video clip, and I have to explain before we run the video what you're going to see. You're going to see two people um, essentially collaborating side by side, co-creating some designs and diagrams. And what you'll notice is the two engineers are actually in the same place, but they could be separated by hundreds of miles. In fact, we have, like many of my colleagues, distributed R&D locations. So we're interested in using this internally, if nothing else, for our own R&D. So the two people will be drawing, sharing on a common whiteboard, and you'll see an outline of each person projected onto the display of the actual uh, whiteboard or screen that they're working on. And so with that, I'd like to roll the video so you can see. seem to be doing here is moving from this notion of meetings as a place that you go and talk to people, as, as you said, you, you're actually co-creating, you're turning the, the meeting process into a creation process, which you really haven't achieved in, in most That's cases. That's right. I mean, yeah. the mechanisms for doing that today aren't very convenient or very natural. And what you saw, the ghost image that you saw projected on the whiteboard was, in fact, the person in the other location. And it was readily apparent in the second part of the video where you saw the person with the bright flower shirt uh, projected on the same display. So that allows you to react to what the other person is going to do. And I think that's really a cl clever part of it, is not just the actual seeing of the diagram, but because you can also see the other person, you can anticipate where they might be going, react to that, and all in a very natural way. You just use essentially a pen, and you draw on a whiteboard like our engineers already do today.